This is my 16-year-old Maltese mix. And he's making weird sounds lately. See if you can hear what he's doing. He's doing that snorting thing and a lot of sneezing. So I had a vet appointment for him tomorrow and then I canceled it because he, I thought he was doing better, but he's not, he's still doing it. You hear that? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to clean him up because I'm off work tomorrow and I might have to take him to the vet. I don't want to, because he's 16. I'm probably going to put him to sleep. I don't know. I, I, hate, I hate going there. What they charge is ridiculous. I mean, maybe it's nothing. I, I doubt he suddenly got allergies after his whole life at 16. I mean, it could be allergies, but... Just listen. He just, he does that. And he just started it. I don't know. Like I said, and he'll like do these hard sneezes where he sneezes so hard that he hits his face. But I, I hate to overreact because then you take him to the vet and they'll treat him for all kinds of stuff. And if you actually just let it go, they would have been fine in a couple of days. So I'm using a four blade all over just to neaten them up. I've never heard, I know dogs snort all the time, but I, I never heard them doing that. Like constantly, all night long. Like I, I thought maybe he had something stuck up his nose. Seems to be kind of, his nose is kind of running, and I thought, well, maybe he's got a bad tooth in there. But I pressed on his face. He doesn't seem to be in pain. Just getting some of the hair off before I put him in the bathtub. guy is really sensitive to the cold weather. Well, I don't want to take him too short because he will just shake and shake and shake. But I am going to take his legs short because I like the legs shorter than the body in the winter. So they stay clean and so they still stay warm. They stay warm and clean at the same time. While I got him up here, I'm just trying to look at his nose to see if he's got something stuck up there. Is that what it kind of sounds like? Or he's got an infected tooth or something? No? I thought maybe he's got an infection. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with him. All right, we're going to go get in the bath, and then I'm going to finish his haircut later. Real quick before I put him in the tub, I'm just going to get this hair away from his eyes. Got a big old wart on his eye, so I better put my glasses on for this. I 
I'm actually, I'm just killing time. I'm waiting for my other dog to dry. I'm doing the Shih Tzu. So I ran in the house and I got, I got my dog. I'm going to work on him real quick. Now the other dog is back there drying. The vet told me to get it on camera because I told him that he's been making funny sounds like snorting and sneezing and they said to get it on camera. So I figure while I'm cutting his hair, I can get the sounds on camera. Of course, he's going to stop doing it. That's why I figured if I took him to the vet, he's not going to do it there either. You know how they do. It's like when you have a car that's having problems, you take it into the mechanic and you're like, well, it's not doing it here. And then you got to waste all that money on nothing. You're sliding. Y'all can hear that snorting, right? I'm not crazy. Let's not forget his conditioner. Okay, let's go get a treat. Come on. Come on. He always gets a treat after his bath. Come on, let's go get it. We got to cut through the closet. Come on. I got to go over to my bandana shop. I make dog bandanas and I sell them. Fancy schmancy. Let's go get a treat. Come here. We got the soft ones. We got soft ones. There we go. Want some more? He doesn't chew. Here's another one. Do you want some more? Here's another one. Do you guys think that snorting is normal? I never noticed him doing it. Before, I know a dog snorts sometimes, but I think it's weird. How did I know this was going to happen? Every time he gets a bath, he has to destroy everything on the ground.
He wants to leave. I'm going to let him outside. <laughs> Let's go. You want to go out? He has to smell the cage first. You want to go out? Come here. Let's go out. Come here. Let's go out. There he goes. My doggy door is over there. He can run right in. Oh, he's got to pee first. Don't worry. He can go right inside and get warm when he's done peeing. There he goes. Get inside, it's cold. <laughs> it's the next day and I had to make a decision because I actually have three dogs that need to go to the vet and they're all old. Um, so he's not sneezing as bad as he was. He's still snorting. But my other dog, he can't eat his food. And he's 15. Um, so I'm going to switch from taking him to the vet to my other dog. Because they don't even have any openings for almost a month. So I can only take one. And this guy is not as important as the other guy. The other guy has really bad allergies. And he can't eat, literally cannot eat. I spoon feed him. He just started about a week ago. I spoon feed him and all the food just falls out of his mouth. And I got to keep shoving it back in there with the spoon. So I, I don't know what he's doing. I looked at the front of his mouth. I thought, well, maybe his teeth fell out. He's got his front teeth. So I didn't look at the back. I mean, who knows what's going on? I never, I, I know dogs don't even chew their food. They actually just usually just swallow it whole. So I don't, I don't think he needs teeth to eat. So I don't know if something's in the back of his throat or I don't know what he's doing. But anyway, I'm switching up dogs. I'm taking my other dog. I'm actually taking this guy right here. I just washed, where is he at? I just washed him. And there's his brother. I just washed him too. But I washed him so he would be pretty at the vet. Anyway, back to work. So this guy's going to have to wait. I'm just going to make him an appointment. So I'm going to do a four on his body. And I do this with my dog sometimes. I like cut half their hair one day and then half the next day. It's just because I don't have time for all this and it takes too long. So I split it up. And in the winter when it's cold, I know it's cold. I like to take their legs short and leave their bodies longer. So I'm doing a number. Excuse me. Let's turn around. I'm doing a four on his body and a seven on his legs. Because they're always chewing and licking their legs. Their legs get dirty and matted. And I want his body a little bit longer than his legs. And we like his little rat tail, so I'm shaving his tail just so we can look at it because it's so cute. <laughs> I used to always like their tails long. But once I shaved my dog's tail, I was like, oh my God, that is so cute. All right, so I'm just shaving off his legs. I'm in a hurry because I have to go to the vet later. It's my day off. Keep in mind, he's 16 and he's doing pretty good. It's funny, on a lot of the uh, Facebook groups for dog grooming, this kind of cut gets made fun of. <laughs> because groomers don't like shaving the legs and keeping the body longer. I mean, it's always a joke and I always see it on there. And personally, I think it's the best cut. I mean, it makes sense. 
they stay warm and they stay clean and i really don't care what they look like i mean i care what they look like but i don't care i don't care what they look like they can look stupid as long as they're warm i'm getting i'm cleaning this blade off i'm just spraying it with some blade cleaner I'm getting ready to shave his potty area and under his tail where he goes to the bathroom I'm going to lift his leg and shave out his belly. With my dogs, I don't care if they're perfect. I just want the hair off fast. I just do it really fast so they can get off this table. My dogs don't like being groomed either. They shake. Shoot, my one dog, when I went, I went to get him to wash him earlier, he took... <laughs> I looked at him like he knew I was going to wash him. I looked at him and he took off running. I had to chase him in the house because I'm next to the groom shop. And he ran through the doggy door. He went up the steps. Oh my God. My dogs don't like being groomed and they, they don't like it. So I see all these people coloring dogs, dyeing their hair and doing all this stuff on the internet. I think it's ridiculous. They don't want you to do that and they don't, they don't want to be on your table. They want to be left alone. They want to go roll in the mud outside. They don't want their hair dyed. They don't. And they don't want their hair cut. That's a whole different subject that, that I feel very strongly about. You think your dog likes getting groomed? <laughs> I'm sure there's a lot better things that they would rather be doing. His hair is getting very thin on his tail. I mean, some dogs, I mean, they tolerate it. They let you. But do they enjoy it? I doubt it. If I see one more tiger die on the internet, I'm going to scream. I, I, don't, I don't understand how people... I mean, yeah, it's cute. But, but do you know how long that takes? It takes hours to do that. You know, you know what I'm talking about the dyeing, the dyeing of the hair, and all those fancy um, grooming, dyeing, and styles, and it's just ridiculous. I say, take the hair short, groom them as fast as you can. And get them off the table and let them go be dogs. I'm just going over his feet with a 30 blade really fast. Shaving the pads of his feet. Really sloppy, really quick. Just get this done so he can get off the table and go roll in the grass. going to come back and scissor between his toes. Do his back foot. got my curved scissors I'm just trimming between his toes you can see here he has a deformed toenail I don't know if you can see that that one right there on the side his toe I think he had got something stuck in his toe and it got infected so that toe has been growing weird ever since and it's been a couple years I went to one vet and they told me, oh, it's got to be removed. 
And it was, I guess it was an abscess a couple weeks later. It just, it kind of popped on its own. Yeah, it didn't need to be removed. I think he had something stuck in it that got infected. I don't even know how to cut this thing. Can you see this weird thing? Weird. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oops. Sorry. I don't know if it'll bleed. I'm not messing with it. I'm just going to run a brush over him. He's almost ready. Got a short little rat tail. Actually, I should have gave him a lion tail because that's cute too. Just fluff him. Cause I, I washed him yesterday and I never did brush him. So I'm just going to fluff him up. Run back over him with the four blade. Make sure it's even. This guy... He's 16 and he's never had an ear infection. That's pretty good. Because a lot of dogs have ear infections constantly. Like my other dog that I'm taking to the vet later. But he's got a yeast, yeast problem. So I'm just going to scissor up his little ears, trim his little face, and we will be done. Okay, I found my I found my comb. I comb it all forward. Put on my glasses and scissor it round. Be careful, he's got this little wart thing growth on his eyes. He's had that for years. Make sure I don't cut that off. Just trim this little round mouth. Pull it all out with my fingers. Some dogs are really sensitive. If you if you shave their face, they get really itchy and they'll scratch themselves up. So I'm just trimming it real short instead of shaving it. Even though I like I like their faces short. I don't like shaving them. The scissor his ears round. And I am going to dress him up just like I dress up all the other dogs that I groom. I got some, I got some bows. I got, I don't know, I got to look and see what I have. Super cute. Okay, I'm just going to brush him a little bit more and then I'm going to spray him down with some conditioner and wipe his face off with some water and a cotton ball. Make sure his face is nice and clean. And I'm actually reusing his old bow that he had on before his bath because it's still in good shape. So why waste it?